Hello everyone, it's Terry here for Tailored Expressions. I am so happy to be back on the channel again. Today, I am sharing a card using the Bear Hugs card making kit. So let's get started. Let's go over the products that I will be using for this project. Here is the adorable zipper pouch that comes with the kit. It's perfect for holding everything together. The adorable Bear Hugs stamp and coordinating dies. The Bear Hugs coloring stencils. The Insiders. Very much love stamp set and coordinating dies. I will also use products that are not included in the kit. I will be using the Foil Lit Bear Hugs and Tiny Twinkle Embossing Folder. For additional products, I am using Petite Scallop Rectangle Stacklets, Ink Pads in the colors Guava, Sweet Corn, Wintergreen, Eggplant, Sour Gummy, Latte, Hot Fudge, Toffee, which is not on the screen, and Versifying Clear Ink. My Press It Tool, Blending Brushes, Clear Embossing Powder, and Fun Foil in the color Gold Shimmer. And for cardstock, I am using Sugar Cube and Black Licorice. To begin my project, I place a sheet of sugar cube cardstock into my stamping platform. I am using Versifying Clear ink and inking up two of the stamps from the Bear Hug stamp set. I am using my Just Press It tool to help with getting even pressure. Since the heart was a solid image, I did have to apply a little bit more pressure around that area to make sure to get a good impression. Now I poured clear embossing powder over the stamped bears. I heat set the embossing powder with my heat tool until it was nice and melted. Okay, so going in with the Bear Hugs coloring stencils. There are three stencils included in this set. Each stencil coordinates with one of the bears from the stamp set. I went ahead and selected the stencil for this adorable bear here. I know it's a winter polar bear, but I wanted to also show that you can make it into a brown bear as well. So going in with the first part of the stencil, I am aligning it with the stamped image below. I then used my strong magnets to hold the stencil in place. I started off using my toffee colored ink pad with my blending brush. I am ink blending around the inside of the openings of the stencil. I am keeping a very light hand with this color. Then going in with Latte Ink, I am blending that inside the openings of the stencil as well, also keeping a light hand. Now going in with Hot Fudge, I am blending this color with a heavier hand around the edges of the opening of the stencil. I am using the darker shade to create a sense of shadow on the bear. I use my microfiber cloth to wipe off the ink on the stencil before moving to the second step of the stencil. Now that my stencil is clean, I removed my magnets and shifted the stencil up. I am now aligning my stencil opening with the scarf on the bear. Once it was aligned, I placed my magnets back over, but this time I am adding a piece of tape to cover the second bear, just in case I accidentally went a little overboard with my blending. I am using the bitty brush to get into the openings of the stencil. I wanted to create a scarf that was two-toned, so I am going in with sweet corn ink first, then using winter green to blend the two colors together. Okay, so I know I didn't use the second bear on my card today, but I wanted to show how easy it was to add colors to the bears. I personally love to color with markers and pencil, but I know that it isn't for everyone. So having coloring stencils is just such a great quick and efficient way to color an image in. I use my magnets to hold the stencil in place, but if you don't have a magnetic surface, you can just tape your stencil down to your work surface. 
I also added low tack tape to mask off certain areas of the stencil to prevent unwanted ink smudges. Using the coordinating dies, I ran that through my die cutting machine. Now, this part is really optional, but I have always loved the way a white gel pen creates details on a colored image. I am using my jelly roll pen and adding dots and dashed lines on the bears. Okay, so now for the foiling part. The Bear Hugs Foilet Pack has four different designs. I am using the one on the far right hand. Before I begin the foiling, I wanted to ink blend the foil at panel. I am using guava ink and blending that on the upper portion of the card panel. Then going in with sweet corn, I am blending that next to guava. I am making sure to blend between the two colors to create a seamless blend. I then use sour gummy and blend in that color right next to sweet corn. I love how when you mix two certain colors together, it creates a third color. And I really love this green shade that is creating here. And lastly, I use eggplant to blend the bottom portion of the card panel. This was initially what I was going for, but I decided that I wanted to create a darker night sky. So going back in with sour gummy, I am blending that color around the outer edges of the card panel. I'm pretty much covering up the guava ink color here. So now it's foiling time. I don't have a mink machine, but I do have a laminator. I am going to foil my foil it panel with my laminator machine. I trimmed off a sheet of fun foil down to fit the area that I want to foil. With my laminator machine here, it's ready to go once the green light turns on. I place my foilet panel with fun foil between a sheet of copy paper that I folded in half. I ran that through the laminator a few times to make sure that the heat transferred thoroughly. Then I pulled the foil off. It's not a perfect transfer, but it's a great way to use what you have. Now to create more texture. I ran the foilet panel with tiny twinkle embossing folder through my die cutting machine. Then going in with sugar cube ink, I lightly ran the ink pad over the raised area of the card panel. And off screen, I trimmed the card panel down with the petite scallop rectangle stack leg. In hindsight, I should have done this before I embossed since the die cutting machine put pressure on the raised area. Using the same petite scallop rectangle stack like I die cut that out of sugar cube cardstock. This piece will become the snowbank where the bear is seated. I use a pencil to draw a line across the entire card panel. I then use my scissors to cut it apart. For the sentiment, I stamped a sentiment from Very Much Love Stamp Set with Versifying Clear Ink and heat set that with clear embossing powder. Okay, so it's time to assemble. Off screen, I use the next size petite scallop rectangle stacklet to cut out of black licorice cardstock. I also used the coordinating dies for the sentiment and cut that out a few times to create dimension by layering it with liquid adhesive. I used foam tape on the back of the snowbank and popped that onto the panel, aligning it with the scallops on the foil panel. I used liquid adhesive and foam squares to pop up the bear and a sentiment. To finish it off, I adhere the final panel to the top folding card base. And that is it. I hope you found some inspiration. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified of all future videos. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.